Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about another class of phylum Arthropoda and the class is Crustacea. The examples that we normally discuss under this class are Prawn, Crab and Daphnia. We'll be talking about these in detail, but before that, let us just discuss the basic structure of this particular class that is Crustacea. So, in Crustacea, the body is divided into cephalothorax and abdomen. Now, this cephalothorax is formed by fusion of head and thorax and this part is covered with a very big piece of exoskeleton which is called carapace covered with carapace so this is a very unique feature other arthropod characters are common like they also have jointed appendages but in crustacea normally the number of appendages are five pairs of walking legs but this number is variable it is not always five pairs so we write generally five pairs of walking legs then other other structures are the respiration is branchial that means it is through gills this is again a very unique thing in case of crustacea because when we talk of arthropods like insects the main excretion is through malpighian tubules and for breathing they have a tracheary system here they have a uh, gills for respiration and excretion is by green glands which are also known as antennary glands so the structures for respiration is gills the respiration is known as branchial normally in arthropods that there is tracheary system but in case of crustaceans they have gills for respiration and excretion in arthropods the main excretory structure is malpighian tubule but here we find antenary glands or green glands they are called antenary because these glands open at the base of antenna so these are some unique features now let us take the examples the first example is prawn scientific name is palimone prawns Again, common thing is they would have cephalothorax and abdomen. The cephalothorax, that is the one which is covered with carapace, is extended into a slightly pointed structure which is called rostrum. And then this would be the complete carapace. So this structure is carapace and this structure which has serration or teeth like projections it is known as rostrum they have one pair of eyes so here we can draw that bulging eye so eyes we can write it here eyes one pair and they have two pairs of antennae so one pair and second pair so we are showing only on one side so they have two pairs of antenna now this is the cephalothorax part that means the head and the thorax region are combined and it is covered with that big shield which we call the carapace from this region the thoracic part of it there are five pairs of walking appendages or legs so these legs are jointed legs so this is how the legs are going to be i'm just going to show it with a line so the second third fourth and fifth so these are the five pairs 
of walking legs. These are jointed and they are arising only from this thoracic region. Now let us come to the abdominal part. The abdomen is six segmented. This is one, two, three, four, five and this is the last or the sixth segment. Now in the abdominal region, this is abdomen. In the abdominal region from every segment paired structures arise and these structures are going to help in swimming because these crustaceans like prawns they are aquatic. So when we do, draw those structures, those structures would be like this. This has flat parts so that it helps in swimming. So from every segment we would find these kind of paired structures. And as you can see here, these paired structures are present in first, second, third, fourth and fifth abdominal segments. The last abdominal segment also has a paired structure, but these structures are extended backwards and between them is present a pointed tail like structure. So this tail like structure is known as tail sun. These two which arise from the last abdominal segments, they are called uropods and the ones which are present in the five abdominal segments which help in swimming, they are called pleopods. They are the ones which mainly help in swimming. So this is how the structure is or the morphology is. Green glands they have for uh, excretion and respiration is branchial that is with the help of gills. The sexes are separate that means there is sexual dimorphism also males and females can be easily identified. Development after fertilization the development is direct that means there is no larval stage. Now there is one very important feature of prawns that they show autotomy. Autotomy is the ability to cut off its own body part and this is in self-defense. So they cut off a pleopod or that means they can detach one of the pleopod or a leg in self-defense. in self-defense. So if they are attacked, they need to escape and in that mechanism to defend themselves, they would release, detach one pleopod or one leg which keeps moving and the animal which is attacking it would have its focus on that moving structure which has detached and in that time they escape. So this is called autotomy which is again very important and prawns are of economic importance because they are edible. So this is about one example that is pelimone or prawn. The second example is crab <coughs> and in case of crabs the carapace is very large which is again cephalothorax and abdomen. So if we make that structure we would find that the abdominal region is only at the end only small part which is highly reduced and this entire thing is the carapace that means the cephalothorax is very 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 well developed and they have four pairs of legs. Now when we talk about the first pair these legs are segmented, the second pair, the third pair and the fourth pair. So if we talk about the first pair, the first pair is called the chelate leg. What happens in chelate leg is the last segment has 
two claw like structure very big claw like structure so this first one is called the chelate leg and it is used for the attacking pur purpose and here there would be these compound eyes and the antennae so this is how the structure is going to be what is visible to us from the top is the big carapace and the abdominal segments are very much reduced and you can see just few segments small part of abdomen on the posterior side and the legs are going to be segmented like this so this is in case of crabs the last example that is of daphnia daphnia is of high economic importance again because it is used as a pollution indicator so these three are important examples of the class crustacea in phylum arthropoda one example is prawn we have seen the complete morphology and then crab and daphnia is a pollution indicator and general characteristics of crustacea are also here that is cephalothorax and the abdomen this is the most important characteristic feature now in the next video we'll talk about the other classes of this phylum